We have programs in four middle schools and four high schools. And these programs are introductory programs. Their purpose is to help students through a series of learning experiences really begin to understand what are possible career options for them. It's like us coding this because we're, we're the ones that like put everything together and made our own ideas. It's like what we do on the computer, but it's like we're not the com we're not playing the computer what to do. We're doing it on our. So this is the tech ed, and we are working on the engineering design process, thinking of a problem, looking at our restraints, different ways to solve it, and developing prototypes and then testing them. So far, it's going well. So we're learning coding, but it's really much more about developing that engineering design thinking and growth mindset and just really believing that they can they can make changes and improve. The hope for my students for this class is that they learn a little bit about technology. They're not scared of it. They see themselves in the work and they, uh, they believe they can do it. I'm gonna name the game uh, Unicornia. I hope to see smiles on people's face when they play the game. The most important thing about it is um, it's what the kids are interested in right now. And in essence, um, it's translatable to real world careers and jobs right away. So they're not learning out of a textbook that's eight years old, that's out of date. They're learning with the newest technology. They're learning skills that they can apply in the real world. And they're getting hooked on different things that um, they can get jobs in by the time they graduate. Building a budget. And we have to like account for housing, utilities, food, insurance, and cars. When you get a paycheck, you have to separate that through like payments you have to make. This class is kind of like an overview of life skills that the kids will see. So we do things like goal setting, um, sewing and uh, fabric construction, personal finance, budgeting, mm -hmm. um, and then they also do kitchen basics. So they get to learn and experiment in the kitchen and learn how to make a couple different things as well. I would like to see CTE offered in every school, almost at every age level, at least more at the middle school level. Um, so students' eyes can be opened up to like what a, an educational, well-rounded experience can be. Then when they transition into high school, we want the students to focus those, those career choices down and start taking classes that allow them to test that environment to make sure that it fits their interest and fits their needs. So when they graduate, they're either moving into direct entry into the workforce, into high paying good jobs, or they know what their training plan is. And that training plan could be anywhere from a short certificate, one year, two year college, military, apprenticeship, all the way to four years college. But what we want students to focus on is the career and then pick the right training opportunity afterwards. It's very expensive to jump to a four year college and spend that money not exactly sure where you're gonna go. As of right now, a lot of students are definitely really stressed out about what they wanna do after high school. Uh, either military, or internship, or, or even college. And, you know, all those you know options are out there for them and I'm here to support and give them you know the chance to explore all of that options. That's where my passion comes from is uh, to help and assist students in you know kind of like figuring out what they want to do after their life um, after high school you know with their life and how to continue on with that and build upon that without being too stressed out. This, well, we started just like in the beginning of the year to build our wall. Uh, our notch, this is not even a wall, this is a window. And you know, see the whole window. And then we had to wire it up. We did our own electric stuff. Now we're on the plumbing. In this particular class, they learn all forms of construction. They learn wall framing. They learn electrical work. They're going to be doing drywall and flooring and installing doors and windows and so forth. And these are all practical type of skills that they're learning that whether they go into this as a career or they can also just use this in their home later on in their lives too. There are so many technician jobs that are available out there right now that these type of skills, learning how to use tools, learning how to problem solve, these are uh, enormous fields that they can't find enough technicians for. So these students are getting a hands-on feel for all this. So right now we're going to print out my heartbeat. So what we just did is we took the EKG readings from my heartbeat. And so there's about five identifiable ones in here. And then we're going to print it out and then we're going to take her EKG readings. So the students are working on a cardiovascular unit and today they're doing uh, ECGs. So they're trying to find what their heart rate looks like electrically. We've set this up to be a broad spectrum foundational level uh, health science that's applicable to all careers. 
Some students are taking uh, anatomy and physiology for a science credit. Others are planning on going into careers in healthcare, anything from nursing to EMTs to physicians. So for those people that will use EKGs in the future, others may be going into other healthcare careers like pharmacy that may not use ECGs or EKGs, but may use other uh, interactions that it helps to understand what's going on. So the goal is to create a game where your health bar will run down if you don't get enough food and you, you move by tilting the phone, which is really cool. When people ask me what I teach and I say web design, information technology, computer science, computer programming, their initial answer is, wow, I've never had those when I was in high school. What an advantage it is to our students to have these types of programs um, so that they can figure out if maybe they want to do it in the future because um, that's a career they want to pursue now. We're making some chicken alfredo and it's good. You know, you, you, all the restaurants are good, but it's better made homemade because you made it yourself. You get that accomplishment, the satisfaction of knowing that you made it yourself. It's just culinary class. You're gonna learn how to use certain ingredients. You're gonna learn how to use make ingredients. You're gonna eat free food. It's gonna, it's the best thing ever. So whether they go into culinary school somewhere in the industry or they go to college and they have a college job on the side, or, like I always like to see, say, no matter what, you're going to end up eating. So if you know how to cook, then you'll be healthier, you'll be able to budget better, and making your own food is fantastic. We've learned how to upload code onto cell phones and tablets, as well as program motion sensors and color sensors and other motors and such. It encourages the use of creative thinking. We can have five different robots all designed differently and the student's creativity is what come up with whatever solution they want to use to play that game. It's uh, very, very fulfilling, worth all the time that we put into making it happen. So by taking classes like these, that's putting everyone ahead, like in the long run, being able to create logos and being able to create and do things and actually real life jobs that are booming right now, like logo design, writing, creating things like in wood shop. Just the fact that I know how to use those tools and know how to use those programs is gonna put me ahead in the future as well as other students.